So if you Google the most popular meats in America for the holidays, that actually mirrors the most popular meats that we sell right here in our store. And those popular meats are four items. The first is the Christmas turkey, the second is the Christmas ham, the third is the prime rib, and the fourth is the filet mignon. And what we're going to do for the next couple minutes is talk about each one of those things, the best way to prepare them, and what you should be looking for when you go to purchase them. The third most popular item for Christmas time that people cook is the filet mignon or beef tenderloin. Now when you buy a tenderloin, this is sort of what it looks like. It's in a package called the cryovac, has all the fat on it, has all the skin on it, has all the trim on it, and all of that needs to be trimmed before you cook it and serve it to your guests. So this is the before picture, and this is the after picture. Now what we've done here is actually trimmed all of the fat and skin off of the filet mignon, and this is what it looks like when it's finished. Now this part of the tenderloin with this little extra muscle is called the tenderloin butt, B-U-T-T. -T. This very middle part of the tenderloin, the perfect middle part, is called the Chateaubriand or the center tenderloin. So if you have a Chateaubriand or if you have beef wellington, this is the part that they use in that meal, this very center part. And they use the end slices more for steaks because they make a nice big steak. So what we recommend, if you have a large crowd, is to buy a whole tenderloin, have us trim it, tie it, and get it ready for the oven. And there are several ways that you would like to cook this. Now the Chateaubriand method is a little bit of a slower cook, and that is to spice the tenderloin with salt, pepper, garlic, or whatever else you like. In. Then get a skillet, put some fat, some oil, or some butter in the skillet and brown it on all sides. Keep turning it until it gets brown on all sides. Take the skillet and put it in a 250 degree oven and finish cooking it until it comes up to an uh, internal temperature of 128 degrees. Then it's finished. The other method of cooking an entire tenderloin like this, and this is one that we use a lot, we use a lot in my family, for example, is to not do the um, grilling thing to put it right in the oven the way it is. Salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder all over it. Put it on a cookie sheet and put it in a 450 degree oven. Now preheat your oven to 450 degrees so it gets good and hot, 450 or even 475. Once your oven is at 475, very important, turn all the fans on in your kitchen because this is gonna smoke a little bit because, and it's supposed to. There's nothing wrong, that's the way it's going to be. So you put this spice tenderloin on a cookie sheet in your 450 or 470 degree, 75 degree oven for about 50 minutes, five zero, 50 minutes. At that point, it's going to smoke, it's going to get nice and brown on the outside and it's gonna be nice and pink, rarish on the inside. After it comes out of the oven, be prepared to let it set for about 15 minutes before you slice it Get your meat thermometer, put it in the biggest part of the loin, and take a reading. That meat should be about 128, 129, 130 at the most, because for the next five or six minutes, it's going to keep cooking. So once again, let it rest for about 10 or 15 minutes, then slowly slice it, one slice at a time, up to the string, then take the string off, slice up to the next string, Take the, take the string off and then keep slicing that. You'll, each slice will be perfectly rare or medium rare, tender, and well done. The flavor of filet mignon is very exquisite. It's very rich. It's not real beefy. It's very rich. It's kind of mild and it's extremely tender. It's wonderful. So do you really want to change the flavor of that by adding a lot of spices? The answer is no. You just want to add a little bit of spices to the outside so that when you have, when you cut your slice of tenderloin and eat it, you'll get a little bit of that spicy outside flavor and at the same time that delicious interior mild flavor of the beef. Thanks for spending time with us and for all of us here at Urbaniac Brothers Meats, we would like to wish you a very happy holiday.